that, we, uh, uh, we we have a guest today, so let's let's get him. Oh, in. we can right into it. This yeah, is a special yeah, guest. Can. Hey, this is this a special is, guest too. Hey, live from the top. <laughs> we start at the top, and it's gonna be live. Okay, so if you ain't got your energy. Get off this podcast. Right. Yeah. Improve, improving the 14 and 0, 12 KOs. Uh, he'll be in here in just a second. Um, a, a character becoming one of the big characters in this in this sport of boxing right now. The, the, the best heel. The best heel in boxing. Oh, man. What you call it? Heel. That, that's like a WWE term, like the, the bad guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's the uh, best. I, I, I can agree with that. It plays into the team. I gotta get him right. Find him a lovable heel. Hulk Absolutely. Hulk Hogan. Roly Romero. Uh oh. Oh, uh, what, what the? I, 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 didn't, I didn't know. I, was doing. I like looked away and like, yeah. How you guys doing? What's up, Roly? All right, man. We solid, boss man. We talking about uh the kind of character you are, man. What's what's going on? No, nothing. I'm good. I'm just chilling. Yeah, you just you. <laughs> I'm just me. I'm just me. Are you, the, are you the best villain in boxing? I don't know if I'm a villain. I don't know if I'm a hero. I just don't want to whip some ass. That's all. <laughs> hey, let's define that right quick. Because and I agree. He says boxing needs people like you. Define or describe who you are to boxing. Well, I mean, shoot. D- there's no mystery that like I keep things bo- in boxing entertaining. There's no mystery in that. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, people, we need entertaining fighters. We need entertaining fights, you know, and a lot of these fighters, they ain't doing it. Yeah. As simple as that. They're not, they're not catching the attention of everybody else. And that's why boxing is dying. Yeah. That's why boxing is slowly dying, you know, because it's just a bunch of boring fights that everybody knows who's going to win. No knockouts, none of that stuff. And, you know, nobody wants to sit down and watch a fucking 12 round fight. Of people, how do I say it? Nobody, nobody wants to watch a 12 round fight of nothing happening. Mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah, I agree. Let me ask you this. Um, when you say, first of all, let me ask you, do you think that the sport of boxing, you said it's slowly dying? Do you really do feel that it's slowly dying? Or is that kind of what you just kind of saying, what other people say about the sport? No, I feel like it's dying. I, I feel like a lot of our fans have crossed over to MMA. And I mean, at least MMA, if a fight's boring, a lot of like it, it, it's over qu- a lot quicker than a boxing fight, you know? Right, right. And then the other and, side of that question, so, sorry to cut you off, but the other side is responsibility. Now we're talking about responsibility because you're a WBA interim t- t- uh, champion and you are the future future of boxing. So the responsibility to not allow this sport to die is in a lot of ways, arresting your hands, if you know what I'm saying, man. I tell you, as long as I stay in the sport, the sport's gonna stay a little bit entertaining, you know. Yeah, I'll find a way to make it entertaining some way, somehow. I mean, yeah. just my personality alone is good for boxing, yeah. Or, 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 or wouldn't you guys agree? I would agree Def- for sure, definitely. definitely. Right. Hey, I mean, man, yeah, go ahead, Carson. <laughs> no, I was, I was going to say, so my, my question is... I'm like, hold on, hold on. Y'all no, just no, jump. No. He said, oh, would y'all agree? Y'all, Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I agree. For, I mean, we talked about it last week. Yeah, he, he, he's as entertaining as anybody. My question is, so when you say the stuff that you say, whether you believe it or not, I'm not going to question that, does it almost add a little, not motivation, but a little pressure on yourself? Like if you say, hey, I'm going to knock out whoever, or, uh, you know, I could, I could beat Tank Davis. Does that maybe motivate you even more to, to get in there and do it? Man, I believe every single thing I say. As simple as that. I believe every little thing I say. And uh, does it motivate me? Well, yeah, because I don't want to look like a fucking idiot. So <laughs> that's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> that's um, what but I, I I go after the thing about me is I, and I've always been like this even since I was a kid. I go after things that other people would never go after all that stuff. You know, my, my dad would always tell me, you know, he's like, and like, and it's just like, it's more of like a carry like more of a curiosity, you know, mm. of what, what will happen, you know, mm-hmm. after that, because, you know, it's always like, I'm not supposed to do that. I shouldn't be able to do that. You know, all that stuff, you know, it's always been a curiosity of like, mm. what if it happens? What if it, 
you know, so I mean, that that motivates me more than anything, you know, just that I just want to see what happens, you know, mm-hmm. like, I'm telling you, my pops would always tell me, you know, hey, if you see a, a, a like, you know, my dad was like, always like, hey, if, if there's youth path by a group of guys across the street or something, you know, cross the street so you don't have to like interact with them. And I, and I mm-hmm. stay on the same side of the street just to see if something yeah. would happen. <laughs> yeah. That's the guy, like, I would, I would, you know, I, I, I test myself to like a lot of boundaries that I probably shouldn't test myself. So. Yeah. And it goes in a lot of different aspects in life, you know, so. Hey, Rolly, how, how long the WBA is going to deny you, man? You know, you got T.O. got a, you know, super champ. Then you got a, you know how it goes. Javante Davis, a champ. Then you got the Russian guy. Uh, was it Roma? Roman? A champ. So what's up, man? When, when they going to give you a shot? You got to get one of those three guys. I don't even know who the Russian dude is. Yeah, I know. Uh, ask Sean tell. He knows. I guarantee <laughs> Sean? Don't bring me into it. Don't bring me into it. Uh, I know. No, I know. I I think he got switched up, Ant, because I know Roly has the interim, Trevante has the regular, and Tia Fimo has the super world. So and the Russian so guy has the, the gold. Right. Well, go ahead. He has a gold. He has a gold. It says a WBA gold champion. Ah. I thought that was uh, Mendy. <laughs> nope. Hey, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. Don't don't even try to figure it out, Rolly. Don't even try yeah, to figure yeah. it out. Man. <laughs> I, I, I I don't really care that much, honestly. If I I, I fight whoever, it doesn't matter. I was about to ask, do you do you care about the? I know you care about your money, but I mean, like the business side of it, of in terms of I never they're gonna once, put you in the ring with. Like I'm gonna tell you this, I never once asked how much I was gonna make, mm-hmm. who I was fighting, or any yeah. of that shit. Yeah. Until I fought for the world title. Yeah. I never once asked about how much money I was going to make or any of that stuff. Yeah. Because to me, all that money was irrelevant. Yeah. And to me, it still is. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's not hard to make money outside of boxing. Mm-hmm. I mean, not every millionaire is a fucking boxer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I- if anything, <laughs> fucking boxers are kind of broke compared to everybody else. I drive down some streets in Vegas and I'm like, what are they doing with their lives that they got all this and I got to get punched to get what I've got? You know what I mean? So I get that. Yeah. So, I mean, you don't need money to be, to, you, you don't need to be boxing to make money. Yeah. So why on the other hand, why do you need to be boxing to make money? Mm-hmm. It, it doesn't, it doesn't correlate, you know, but money and boxing are two completely different things. Mm-hmm. So, so, so you- that's how I feel. Go ahead, Sean. No, well, like you mentioned, like it, it, you don't have to fight to make money. I know you you find ways to make money outside of boxing. So if it's not really money, and I I don't I know you started boxing late. You know you were in judo, winning tournaments and competing in judo, and then you start boxing late. So how much does like does greatness matter to you? Because you know Devin and Ryan and Tio and them. They were fighting as little kids dreaming about the WBC belts and the WBA belts. And here you are starting late. Like, is it is it more about snatching their dreams from them than it is becoming this great boxer, this great fighter? Or what, what do you think about all that, Roly? You know, I tell you, my, my original goal was, you know, I, I want to go to the Olympics, you know, and I mean, that didn't work out the way I wanted. So, I mean, fuck I either. they could go fuck off, you know. How'd that but, work out for you? Like what? What was going on with with that? I shut both of these dudes' eyes, and they took the fight from me. Wow! And he couldn't even fight the next day. Wow. So they go f- themselves. Yeah. <laughs> but sorry. So I you even. let him know that, Sean. Yeah. Sorry, I even. <laughs> but that, that that's something. That's something else, you know. So then you know, like I said, I mean, my goal is to become a world champion, and I did that, and it wasn't it. It wasn't it. Mm-hmm. So now I got a new mission, which was, you know, my mission from the beginning, you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, from, you know, just expose all these fucking phonies. Simple mm-hmm. as that. I want to expose every single one of them. And then after I do that, well, I'll find a new goal. But right now, mm-hmm. that's my goal. Just expose every single one of these phonies. Well, let, let's hear who's the phonies. Let's hear it. Yeah, I mean, I was, that's how I was going to say, Carson. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, shit, right now on my list is Devin and Tank. Those are the two I want to expose right now. 
Mm. Okay. Those are the two I want to expose right now. I man, that would bring me so much fucking sad. <laughs> knock them motherfuckers out. Just to shut them motherfuckers up, all their fucking dick riders, all their fucking groupies, just to shut everybody the fuck up. That that would be better than anything. You prefer beating one to the other? Yeah. I think Devin's much more of a phony. No, nah, that so, ain't the question. The question is said, do, no. do you would, would you prefer yeah, to no, fight one? Feel like and I, I think is. based on that answer, he would say Devin. <laughs> yeah, Devin. That's the that's the one I but like I said. To me, I'd gain more by fucking knocking out Tank. Yeah. I'd gain a lot more by knocking out Tank. Yeah, and I, Devin, you know what? And and in, in good conscience, like I can't sit here and 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 let it ride. Like I don't believe that Tank's a phony. I believe that Tank's the real deal. In my eyes, he's a phony. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hate, you know. And I know, and I know that you, but as a fighter, like I don't, I'm not there, so I don't have to. I don't really have to keep my mind at a certain point to to get in the ring with him. But like if I'm looking at a guy like um, a guy like Terrence Crawford or a guy like Errol Spence Jr. or something like that, like, yeah, I, I figure out ways to twist my eyes and my head up, you know, so that I, I can look at them with a little bit of animosity. But so, yeah, I'm, I'm coming from a different place and saying, you know, I don't really think he's a phony. Uh, no, I know a few Rolling. things. We, I know a few things. Hey, He's listen, simple. and you, yeah, you've been up, and you've been up through there. You know what I mean. You've been through that that TMT, so you you know what it I, is. I know a few things, yeah. and I miss things that I'm not saying that they're negative. You know all that stuff. I'm just saying, just the way I look at it, it's all fucking fake. Yeah, it's all fake. Hey, roll it, roll it, man. Fake. Fake as it might be, that power ain't fake. He will he will yeah. knock Jesus out if he has to. Like nah, I guess I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> gonna do that. <laughs> All right, I gotta I gotta give him that. He does punch hard. Hey, 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 he punch. He punch. <laughs> yeah, he does. And hard. that boy Rolly strong too. So. <laughs> oh yeah. That boy. I, I can't I can't I can't give him that though. He does punch hard. He does punch yeah. hard. Yeah. yeah. You know I, I I'm very impressed with him. You know I, I I I'm I'm impressed with him in other aspects, man. He's from a really bad place, man. For him to make it out, mm-hmm. that's impressive. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean yeah. he's obviously not the smartest person in the world. You know. This so guy. I mean he he, 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 had, he had no he had no other option but to you know. He might he might even be f***ing punch oh, drunk right now. Man, hold but, on, oh. yeah. We, <laughs> he might even be punch drunk right now, but but like I said, you gotta admire him that he actually did something, you know? Yeah. Oh my god. Bro, more than them being frauds though, or anything like that, wouldn't it really just mean like you're a great fighter? You'll have to be a great fighter more than them being less than, you know, isn't that isn't that more what would have to happen more than them being frauds, you would have to be a great fighter to knock mm-hmm. them guys off. I think I am a great fighter. But like I said, I'm never gonna get that that uh I'm not gonna get that recognition for who I am until I do it because I didn't come up in the amateurs. Mm-hmm. I'm not a f- mm-hmm. I'm not a f- mm-hmm. Olympian. Mm-hmm. I'm not a fucking prized amateur. That's had so much given to them from the beginning. I came out of fucking nowhere, did it with less fights than everybody else. I did it. I grabbed my both my balls and I just went fucking forward. And that's why I'm where I'm at today. Mm-hmm. There's no other reason. I'm mentally stronger than all of them. Just, just the way I, just the way I say it. Just the way I carry myself. I know that if I hit any of these motherfuckers and when I hit any of these motherfuckers, they're all going out. Mm. Simple as that. Mm. And they're going to all choke under the pressure that I put on them. Mm. Not just physically, but mentally. And that's how boxing is. It's all a mental game. And Roly, I've heard stories about you knocking people in camp. What's the biggest fighter you knocked in camp? Yo, don't Man. say the name. Don't say the name. Don't say. Let's not put out no names. <laughs> a good number. Of world, a good number of world champs. What, what, like a good number of world champs. 
Yeah. Weight class. What's the highest weight class? Mm, let me think. I mean, there's a 140 pound world champ right now. There's two. There's two. I, there's two. Yes, dude. <laughs> there's, there's only there, one there, champ. There, 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 there's I, three. There's three. I there's know. Three. I'm like, don't do this, man. <laughs> there's, there, there's three. There's. <laughs> I, I date the f out of. Man, the, the, the list goes on, man. I'm telling you, like, three of them are 145ers right now. I just say it like this. And, uh, yeah. I, I, <laughs> Don't say the name. Don't say it, man. I'm not. I'm not okay. saying. No. And like, this is me being dead honest. This is me being dead honest. Oh, a 147 pounder. Oh, okay. okay. They also uh, strength and conditioning coach <laughs> by Larry Wade. Oh, this one did knock out, but this one I hurt severely. Oh, cool. I'll be mad if you put my guy SP down. But you guys, never, well, you guys never together or anything. Nah, he don't want to get in the ring with me. Oh. I'm scared. Of, I'm I'm oh. I'm scared of that pressure. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll tell you this: Sean always make an entertaining fight, no matter yeah. what. Oh, yeah, Every single yeah. one of Sean fight entertaining. Hey, listen, when we when we first got on and you were talking about how fighters ain't entertaining no more and how fights go twelve rounds. I'm like, dang, all my fights go 12 rounds. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then he said, you know, nobody wants to put on entertaining fights. I was like, oh, but my fights are entertaining. <laughs> they are entertaining. Yeah, yo, I, I can't even I can't even say anything about that. All your fights are entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. Man. You go in there trying to fucking murder somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be out of my mind a little bit. I, I, I am out of my mind a little bit when I'm in the ring. What about hey. you? You you having a good time in there, huh? What about you? You out of your mind a little bit when you in there? No, I, I, I'm really focused. I don't know why. Like, like this like, Yigi kid, the, the Yigi kid that you just fought. A few times you you swung really hard and missed. And and I put myself in that position. I was like, I would have been thinking like, mm, I just almost <laughs> like, do, does that thought like, do you have them thoughts? Of, Ooh, like, oh, I almost got you. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. Not really. You, you, you're much more calm. Like, but the thing is, to me, I feel when I'm in the ring, I feel I'm at peace. Yeah. It, it, like, now, now, there was a moment where I was pissed off, though. Yeah. After, you know, because I had heard him. I had heard him, right? And I, and, I, and I go for the finish, right? And the fucking ref wants to defend him and take a point for me. I'm just like, look at the ref. I'm just like, wait, what? The motherfucker. Yeah. Hurt. Yeah. I'm like, let me knock. I'm like, then let me knock him. I'll look him in the eye. I'm like, all right, hurry up, take my fing point away. So I knock him out. So I knock him out. I go, the second they take my point away, I walk up, boom, boom. <laughs> and I drop him. I'm like, this should have happened 15 seconds ago. He's like, you can have the points move. You can have the points move. I was like, I don't give a fuck about the point. Like, I'm winning every single round. Like, you think I give a fuck about a damn point? Wow. Like, just hurry up, take that shit so I can fucking go knock the motherfucker out. Hey, wow. hey, Roland, speaking of how focused you was, I seen my man one time, he did a 360 around you the whole, went all the way around your back. And I'll pop him with a jab. Yeah, you, you was just cocked the whole time, like, all right, what you gonna do? He stopped, for boom! It. I was like, this dude. Yeah, I, I got some crazy peripherals. I guess I see some things. <laughs> but, but, I mean, sure. I used to do that, I used to do that a lot, of, you know, Back when I was an amateur, I do that shit a lot. Now, you know, it's a little bit. People don't. Man, there's another 140 pounder. I did that shit. Oh, I made the go. fuck out of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty well known. <laughs> oh, man. This dude right here. Listen, man. man we going we, we, we to let you go, man. Hey, right, right, man, right, man, right, man, man, I'm, so. I'm yeah. telling you, man. Y'all going to get me to start snitching. I'm not going to be snitching. No, 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 don't, don't, do that. That. don't do that. Look, man, shit. If, if we're off stream, I'd tell you, I'd tell you, <laughs> <laughs> but, but like, I, I tell you like this, man, are you getting in the ring before the end of the year? No, I, I know some things that other people don't know. Are you getting in the ring before the end of the year? Shit. I don't even know. Maybe. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. No, hopefully. that's what I was asking. Is that what you want? We know, you know, a lot of times they don't, they don't work on our time, but you know, um, you want to get back in the ring for the end of the year? Maybe, uh, maybe yeah. December. Yeah. Then, I'm, I'm not, I'm not in no rush. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's why. Then I no, then no, but I'm not in no rush. I, I, I think you know, rest and you know, being away from boxing is just as good as being in boxing. You know, mm-hmm. boxing is you know, boxing is a pandy ass. <laughs> yeah, you quit I boxing was, on on Twitter a couple of days ago. Yeah, I, I quit boxing every day. <laughs> <laughs> sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but boxing is toxic. It's What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG. Ant with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's here, do right. it again. Let's All do right. it. Again. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Breno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.